What's up guys, Sal here. So the iPhone 14 Pro Max and the Galaxy S22 Ultra represent the best that Apple and Samsung have to offer. So without wasting any time, let's take a look at how these phones stack up against each other in a real world speed test comparison. iPhone 14 Pro, the best iPhones we've ever created. The Galaxy S22 Ultra comes with a powerful four nanometer processor, our fastest chip ever. It is the most powerful Snapdragon platform ever built. In fact, A16 Bionic is the fastest chip ever in a smartphone. It's up to a whopping 40% faster than the competition. Our competitors can sometimes claim the highest marks during the first minute or so, but they drop off significantly after that. We'll divide the speed test into five different categories to really understand the difference in day-to-day -day performance. The S22 Ultra variant that I'm using is a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 with 12 gigs of RAM. So starting off with some good old app opening tests, the apps that I'm using here are the ones majority of us use every day. As you can see, the S22 Ultra loads up YouTube app faster, as well as eBay. Twitter is faster on the S22 Ultra, and even though both phones are about the same when it comes to Reddit, but the S22 Ultra is a fraction of a second faster. The 14 Pro Max is clearly faster while loading Instagram, and the same is true for Spotify. The UFC apps loads up faster on the iPhone. So out of the 7 apps here, 4 go to Samsung and 3 to Apple, so Samsung takes this round. Now coming to some heavy stuff, starting off with Subway Surfer. And as you can see, the 14 Pro Max loads it faster than the S22 Ultra. Another popular game, the Asphalt 9 for racing fans. but it's the S22 Ultra marginally winning the race. The Beach Buggy Racing 2 is another racing game, and it loads faster on the iPhone. Angry Birds 2, which was once a barrel head, is faster on the S22 Ultra. And finally, we have Call of Duty, which is a favorite of many. And as you can see, the S22 Ultra loads it faster than the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So the S22 Ultra takes this round again. Next is the photo and video editing apps. The apps we're gonna use are Snapseed and Adobe Rush. Starting off with Snapseed, the S22 Ultra slightly performs better in exporting the image compared to the S22 Ultra. But the video editing is where the new iPhone really shines. There's a massive difference here and it's not really surprising because historically, the iPhones tend to do better in exporting videos. So for the insane exporting speed, I'm gonna give this round to Apple. Then we have some productivity apps. We'll use Microsoft Word and Excel for that. Here is a mammoth Excel sheet with 50,000 rows with complex entries. And as you can see, the S22 Ultra performs better than the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Next is a 500 page Word document. And here it's the opposite. The iPhone 14 Pro Max is faster, so this round is a draw. And finally, let's see whether or not both phones were able to keep all the apps open in the background. The S22 Ultra has 12 gigs of RAM while it's just 6 gigabytes on the 14 Pro Max, but despite that, both phones were able to keep all the apps open. So who won the speed test? Well, out of 5 rounds, the S22 Ultra won 2 rounds, the 14 Pro Max got 1 and 2 rounds were drawn. 
So surprisingly, the S22 Ultra is the winner here, but it wasn't a decisive victory though. Both phones are way faster than what would actually need. The 14 Pro Max definitely has more raw power, but in the real world of day-to-day -day use, you wouldn't notice the difference between these two phones in the majority of apps and games. If you want me to make more videos like this, let me know by hitting the like button, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.